Golly, that freaking scared me, dude. Are you kidding me? Get with the program, bro. Why don't you not just freaking clap so freaking loud, dude? Jeez. You done whining? I'm gonna send you to your bedroom. Shut up, or I'm gonna spank your bottom. <laughs> If you like your music, it's kind of alright And laughing until you die Subscribe! Here we are. I am Spartacus. We're putting out content every single week. Let's remind people we're also musicians. We are a band. <laughs> Let's, in fact, play some music. I feel like people are forgetting that or not knowing it, discovering us now. This aspect of what we do, the online stuff, there is no money there, at least at our level. None whatsoever. All it is is sowing seeds and to for make, something in the future. And we enjoy it. We We're enjoy it. We're doing what we want. Don't you understand that? We do what we want. Okay, so video number one. The first thing we did was a vlog, and it was just, I don't want to spend too much time on this. It was just capping off. Uh, last year, we'll leave a link down below that will uh, you can kind of check out everything that we did with our vlogs from last year. Second thing we did, cover of Dream. All I have to do is Dream by the Everly Brothers. We filmed for several, several, several hours the first night, and then scrapped all of that. Oh, I forgot about that because we didn't like the way it was turning out, and we just weren't nailing it the way we wanted to. And even then. It still took us hours to film it because we couldn't remember the lyrics that were right in front of our faces. <laughs> well, the very next video we did was Take It Easy by the Eagles. We went a very opposite direction in clothing on that one. We decided we're going to play around with uh, bringing in cloned versions of ourselves was, within the frame. That was an interesting thing. We had to refilm that video, too. We, we had it all filmed and everything. It was done. It took us freaking forever. It took us to hours. Do it. It took us hours. And uh, went and looked at the video. Wasn't going to work. There's not been a week of a video yet that we have not filmed hours throughout the night till like the sun is coming up. And then there's the editing process that takes all the more hours, just as many. I am just remembering something from that video. <laughs> we ended up having to go to our Dollar General down the road here to see if we could find a king-size black sheet because the black sheet wasn't fitting for what we needed. Wasn't one a Dollar General. We went to Walmart. What did we end up doing? We had that? to get a king-size sheet and a full. That's right. <laughs> That's all I had. We had to play around with it and figure out some tricks. There's some errors in there. You're going to find them if you really look for them. Yeah. I started, when I was having to wear out the tambourine, you know, at first, my first take, it was like, just going for it, you know? And I realized I'm in and out of frame. I'm getting in front of my other guy's face over here. So I ended up having to just wildly work within this tiny little space. <laughs> So we had a lot of fun with it. We learned a lot. We got some new wigs in the process. Talk about an investment, son. Yeah. Like, I mean, that those wigs are not cheap. Well, no. they are about the cheapest that you can get, but that yeah, doesn't mean true. that we can that's afford them. <laughs> Next video we did was Every Breath You Take, Police Cover. And honestly, it's my favorite one still right now. It's holding Me the too. top position in my mind. And I think actually the views that they would prove that that's the case for everybody. Mm -hmm. Views are doing better. I remember specifically saying, man, I want this to be a simple video. And then, of course, once we start diving into what we want to do with the video, it becomes more and more complicated. And... I wouldn't have it any other way because yeah. it was fun. We decided, why don't we do it vocally? Every instrument that's played, we will do it with our voice, drums, all the little piano parts. And then we also wanted to make sure that we were able to recreate that iconic guitar part with our voices as well. Then the real challenge was the video. We wanted to kind of acknowledge the original video from the police a little bit. So we did it in black and white and we imitated a couple of the key scenes from the original video. There's this one scene where Sting is turned this way and then he says, I'll be watching you 
and he turns this way. And when he makes that movement, the light that is shining on his face here goes out and a new light flashes on over here. We are two guys. We have no cameraman, no lighting operator. Actually, we just have no one else. Yeah. And that makes things a little difficult. So Brady has got the camera zoomed in my face. The camera's maybe 18 inches away. It was max. really close up. Very close. One. We got these two LED lights that are just barely within reach. Brady was able to arch back like Neo from the Matrix <laughs> in front of the camera and barely reach those two buttons so that he could turn one off and turn the other one on. They're cheap LED lights. When you press one of the buttons, it doesn't just go <clears throat> and go off. You have to hold it and then it just fades out kind of slowly and you've got to do the same thing turning it on so it's slow to go on and off we probably took it 30 times yeah. trying to get the right timing for the light to as he turns his face forward there was a couple times that he had to just take a break because his back was killing him <laughs> his chin kept creeping into the frame hey man your chin's in the frame again your chin's in the frame so he's having to arch back he's like i can get this if you cranked up the audio on just the camera you could actually hear <laughs> him moaning into the camera in absolute agony. <laughs> I woke up the next day. <laughs> I woke up the next day, dude, and I was in such extraordinary back and neck pain because it's like every part of a hinge of my body. So, like, my legs were kind of like this, but my back was like this, and then my neck was like this. My neck. My bad. Big my then the next video comes up, and it's our first attempt at a comedy sketch. We've been wanting to do this for a long time. It's been very intimidating. Yeah, behind the camera and stuff, like that's kind of just how we are as people. We come up with these just ideas. They just come up in conversation, too. I can't tell you so, how often we've been sitting in the middle of church when we're supposed to be listening to the sermon, and we come up with an idea, probably because we were listening, and something was said or done on stage that made us think we can make fun of that. I think we can make fun of that pretty well. We got a bunch of friends that hopped on this keto diet thing, and I'll be the first to say several of them have seen some incredible success, radical tra transformations, and it's and it's awesome. So we're I'm, well aware of what it can for do them. for for you and for people, but we're also well aware of how people who jump on fad diets get noticeably arrogant and condescending about their very recent life changes. <laughs> oh, I, I know this. Oh, yeah. Something you don't know that's going to save your life. And guess what? If you don't listen to me, you're an idiot. Yeah, they approach it almost like... Oh, my gosh. You still almost, eat spaghetti? Almost like they're... <laughs> they're proselytizing to you like they're trying to save you like it's a ministry it's the ministry and getting you to stop eating like an idiot <laughs> we had a friend of ours a very close friend of ours who i won't say his name but dylan he did it for like <laughs> they talk about ketosis about you know you got to get into ketosis and to me the word ketosis sounded like such like a uh, like a far eastern state of mind like an enlightenment or a, or a nirvana or something like i have achieved ketosis <laughs> and i that was the entire foundation for the yeah. videos like let's make fun of it like he's achieved some sort of spiritual realm so if you haven't checked out the ketosis video it's the first in our what's going to be many comedy sketch videos that hopefully are halfway funny to you guys uh they're funny to us so we do it because we like it I hope you like it too, but if you don't, so what? Why don't you tell me about then it so I can make fun you of you? Why don't you just be an idiot because you don't like it, and we know what's good. <laughs> Keto. I'm going to start that over real quick. Did you fart? No, I did not. I bet you probably did, though. No, nah, it doesn't smell like mine. I think you did, and you <clears> forgot. Don't think so. We filmed uh, yet another cover video. This time we decided we are actually going to do it simple. We're going to set up three cameras and we're going to film 100% live acoustic video of a love song for our wives for Valentine's Day. We came across Shania Twain's stuff, you know, from I guess the 90s. And first of all, we both were kind of like, 
Man, yeah, she's she, good. She rules, man. She got some good stuff out there. I had kind of forgotten about it and, and maybe never really fully appreciated it. I was a kid at the time that it all came out. Uh, but now, looking back, man, there's some great stuff. And so we sat here and we kind of did a new little arrangement of it. And the most difficult part was making it singable for two men. Because yeah. the range is established for a male vocal and a female vocal, which is not super high. Yeah. But having them come together that made sense for us and also not to make us look like we were gay. <clears throat> yeah, which I'll just tell you, we both had the inclination to do that out of funniness. Yeah. Um, we refrained, obviously, but we did want to intently look at each other and not... Yep. It's a fun video. <laughs> Hope you guys like it. Let us know uh, how many vocal imperfections you hear because it's 100% <laughs> live. So it is what it is. That's what we're capable of doing, nothing more. We're going to be doing these vlogs monthly anyway. I hope you guys really enjoy them. It's giving you kind of a glimpse behind the scenes of our band overall, but more specifically the videos that we're putting out and letting you see some behind the scenes footage. If you're enjoying it, what do they got to do? You got to subscribe and you got to hit the notification bell so that you are notified as soon as we put a video out because you're going to want to do that. It's going to make your day better. It's going to make your life better. And I'm pretty sure I've been told it's going to make you rich. So yeah, it, we it, don't get any of that, but you'll get rich. You'll get rich. Yeah. yeah. We'll get, <laughs> we'll get rich with, uh, likes and follows, yeah, which is apparently. the same thing as money. Yeah. That's as good as my... I can take a thumbs up to the grocery store and buy a loaf of bread with it. Ma'am, do you not see how many likes I got on this? You're telling the, the girl at the register. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, that's kind of funny. Yeah. It's kind of funny idea. Maybe we should make know, a video. Everybody is kind of chasing that. Maybe we should do a bit about that. E-S-C-R-I-B-E-S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E